22. Welcome once again. I am Donald Borosinkwaro. Mm. Booty. What's on it this afternoon? And I am joined here by my brother, co-commentator. Um, yeah, Conrad here. Very lovely weather here in the capital. It will be an exciting encounter. Uh, can Pirates uh, uh, drag Julinho into the relegation battle? <laughs> can uh, they drag Orlando Pirates or even Julina in the... Uh, re re relegation battle that is uh, as we await for the referee as you can see there in your pictures uh, the two teams have already made their way to the soccer pitch just waiting for the referee to give us a go ahead here at the independent stadium it is the Deb Marino premiership uh, this afternoon remember the two teams played yesterday where where Julino Sporting lost yesterday by three goals to zero. Uh, that was at the No Ape Stadium yesterday. And uh, Orlando Pirates, however, play out to a 0 0 draw against uh, Okakarara Young Warriors at the Unam Stadium. That was yesterday. And now we await to see the Sea Robbers, that is Orlando Pirates. Uh, will they play their way out of the relegation zone? Or uh, is matters going to be very worse for them after this match? We await and see as to how it will play out. On the other hand, Julino Sporting as well, you know, not doing that fine after having lost yesterday. I mean, the boys from Rundu, a team from the Kavango East region, visiting Orlando Pirates here. We will have to see as to after this weekend how they really played this weekend. And, uh, you know, I think as from tomorrow on, we will refer back to uh, the lock standings just to see as to how all these teams played uh, this weekend and how they have positioned themselves in the lock standings. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, we, we, we should expect, I think, a few goals or two in this one. Uh, I mean, this is like a cup final for both. They really, really need the points. I think both teams fancy this one. Um, yeah, it will be an exciting one. It will be an exciting one as we see here, Julina Sporting. The coach, Nelson Luiz, bringing on Michael Nalukaku, the goalkeeper. We've got Gustav Kaeka, the number 21, the number 23, the centre-back, Junior Katea. We've got uh, the number 5, Gerson Paulas, uh, Bishita Kaeka, the number 13, and uh, Biuma Kashitu. Number 8, number 14, Sean Oduro, and then Johannes Shiaia at number 20. And then their prolific striker, that is Mapenzi Mwane, right in front. And then the referee says, game on, as the two teams will play it out to see as to who will become victorious this afternoon. Your yeah. take on uh, the game this afternoon, uh, Conrad? A very, very exciting opening. You can see Orlando Pirates, they are knocking the ball there. Very, very comfortable on the ball. I think uh, they want to build up all the way from the back, transition through the midfield, and hopefully get that attack. Uh, as we currently see, we're having a free kick for Orlando Pirates. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what they do from this one. There a is free numbers kick. in the box here. A free kick in the early minutes. It is an opportunity there for Orlando Pirates. But then uh, it goes out for a goal kick there. Orlando Pirates with their coach, James Brett, sending out Nico Uzep as the goalkeeper here. Enoch Afull, the number 24. Johnny Ordner, number 4. Haga Gurirab, number 15. Radik Garizep, the guy that was playing for a shocker Chula Chula. He jumped ship and now playing for Orlando Pirates. Fidelis Juan Jose, one of the best players for Orlando Pirates. We'll just have to see as to how he is going to play today. Godwin Jena, the guy from Zimbabwe, previously played for African Stars, but then went out to play in Mali and then played in Switzerland. I mean, not Switzerland, but Swaziland, Eswatini. And then from Eswatini coming back here to Namibia to play for Orlando Pirates. Uh, Ezekiel Garweb also in with number 11. Denzel Narib with number 18. Morgan Gazeb number 9. And then the coach James Brett. As you can see already, your bottom uh, left, uh, right of your screen there, uh, that is the coach uh, Nelson Lewis already on his feet here to give out instructions to the players here. 
Yeah, as we can see, both teams trying to just get the feel of 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 the of the ball early opening minutes. Oh, there was a, a, a optimistic shot there from Julinho. Unfortunately, just just wide. Um, yeah, um, it's early uh, moments in the game. Uh, I see both teams are trying to play from the back. Um, it will be an exciting one. This one, I see. Yeah. Um, trying to open each other up first 15 minutes probably but we are expecting goals in this one we are really expecting goals talking of uh, uh, goals here Orlando Paris none of their players have managed to score more than uh, more than uh, say five goals or even four goals uh, so not so sure as to where these goals will be coming from but then again we wait and see as to how the strikers will conduct themselves uh, in front of uh, the respective uh, defenders. So you can see they're quickly playing it forward there. Julino Sporting in all green and then Orlando Pirates, uh, obviously with their traditional regalia. The colors, traditional colors, that is uh, black shorts, black uh, socks, uh, and uh, Black shirts here accompanied by white. And it's a shot! Oh! oh! Look at that shot! Unbelievable stuff here! The number 25 of Orlando Pirates, Fidelius Rogozep. He is, what a strike! He is the youngest player on the pitch today. What a brilliant strike there from the young man. Left-footed strike just outside of the box. And Orlando Pirates lead. What a cracker, ladies and gentlemen. Fidel is Josep pulling one ahead there for Orlando Pirates. The boy comes from SKW Academy. Remember that when he joined at the beginning of the season, he joined Orlando Pirates and uh, so far played seven games. And imagine, just feeling sorry for the goalkeeper there. The ball might have uh, take a bounce a bit there. Yeah, no, it was it was really an, an unexpected shot. As you could see in the early minutes, Orlando Pirates very, very comfortable with position, knocking the ball beautifully, especially when it comes into the final third. And uh, oh, what a, a lovely unleashed shot there <laughs> from the young man. Uh, I think he's one for the future. Well, I can uh, perhaps just uh, tell you there that Fidel Esquajosep comes from the SKW Academy only joined the Pirates in the second leg of the league. And since he joined, he has played all the seven games so far. Brilliant stuff here. Orlando Pirates. I should uh, perhaps also stress out there that uh, Brett James or James Brett only took over. I think it should be his... Uh, it should be his uh, sixth uh, match now. Is it the second? Yeah, it's the second game, yeah. It's, I think this is his second game. He, his first game was the draw against Okakarara. Against Okakarara, young warriors. Orlando Pirates really controlling position there from the back. Um, Julinho uh, lined up with a back three. Looks like it. That's the formation that they are, that they are lining up there. Um, it's a throw-in for Julinho now. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe just to check at the, the last four games that Orlando Pirates played here. They lost against uh, Nampol by two goals to one. By then it was Woody Jacobs being the coach. They also lost against Young Brazilians by two goals to one. And however, winning against Unam by goal two goal, uh, by, I mean by two goals to one, and then against Life Fighters again getting a win there by two goals uh, uh, to one again. I mean that was the time of uh, Woody Jacobs. And now here, not so sure as to whether we are going to witness a win here for Orlando Pirates. It, as we await to see. It will be very, very vital if they win today because they will be on 20 points, same as Julinho, um, especially taking into consideration that uh, Civics and, and Life Fighters both won their matches yesterday. Um, oh, uh, they just kicked the ball against the referee. That will be a drop ball for Orlando Pirates. Mm. Um, still, 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 I have, we are still expecting a goal or two in this one, Donald. Yes. 
Let's hope for that. I mean, that's the name of the, I mean, of the game here. Always want to see goals being scored. Then uh, that's a throw in there for Jolino. Uh, that's Playing dangerously there at the back. Yeah, that's brilliant. Giving it away again to that young boy there. That is uh, Fidelis Juan Jose. Orlando Pirates are trying to set up pressing traps for Julinho. Julinho are trying to play the ball from the back, but they are falling into the traps. There they give position again away. Um, they are struggling to come out of their final third, of, of the lower third. Yes, and I think uh, somehow Orlando Pirates have uh, realized that, uh, you know, the, rele the relegation battle is going to be a tough one, and I think they have realized that. Uh, hence, uh, at least they are picking up points here and there. But then for Giluna Sporting as well, I think uh, it's time for them to perhaps uh, take advantage of their home games and pick up uh, points at, uh, at home. Another throw in there. Yeah, it's just brilliant play there from the number four for Lando Pirates. Um, Vinzo Johnny Ordner. <coughs> Julinho on the attack again. Yes. As you can see there, Orlando Pirates taking that ball again in the middle field there. Look at that. Uh, through pass, uh, what can the player do there? The number 11, Ezekiel Garuep. And uh, the referee says uh, that's a foul. The first assistant there says uh, it's a foul to Jolino. And uh, the referees for today, oh. we've got uh, Marcus Matthews being the referee here. The first assistant is uh, Lydia, pardon me, those were the ones that were officiating some other matches, but then uh, uh, Vistoria Shangula being the referee here, and then Olivia Amuku from Ashana, the first assistant referee, uh, assistant referee number two, Angula Hangula from uh, Oshana as well. Yeah, no, um, we just had a foul there for Orlando Pirates. Um, I think Julinho are trying to play a, a little bit of a long ball whereby Orlando Pirates are trying to overload. Uh, that's the flank of Mateus Junior Catea or the left back of Julinho. They are trying to play very much on the left hand side. As you can see, they are trying to break through again. It's another counter here. Uh, beautiful interception. Of course, uh, from uh, Orlando Pirates, uh, 10 minutes played in the first half. Orlando Pirates won, Julino Sporting, zero for now. As we await if uh, they will perhaps uh, make a comeback, a great comeback. Miss Q there, but then the goalkeeper, that is the young boy, Nico Uzep, trying to avoid that corner, but then uh, Making uh, that uh, throw in, rather giving out a uh, throw in to Julino. Uh, Orlando Pirates really starting this game very, very well. They are winning every second ball. They are in control of possession. Um, it's very. Yep. I mean, uh, the young boy there, the goalkeeper, that is uh, Nico Isabel, all the way from uh, Ocho. Actually played for Golden Bees. Uh, he has uh, three clean sheets so far after joining uh, Orlando Pirates. Only considered uh, three goals from uh, seven matches or so. But then Orlando Pirates playing beautiful cross uh, headed out. And again, uh, Orlando Pirates threatening here really no communication between the two defenders there. As you can see, trying to take it out of the danger zone, that is uh, Julino Sporting. But things are really very difficult for them this afternoon.
especially in the middle of the park. Go yeah, ahead. yeah, no. Um, the 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 Julinho really needs to work on 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 build up play when they reach the Orlando Pirates half. At the moment, the strikers uh, Mapenzi seems to be isolated. I think he had one one or two touches only in the game so far. So they really really need to try and bring him on the game. Oh, as you can see, we have an injury on the field um, for Orlando Pirates. Promise. Uh, Gurirap, he just went down there. Mm -hmm. See the medic running onto the field. Let's hope it's nothing serious. It's a bit early to have a serious injury. That's uh, Gurirap uh, playing at number 15 right back. Very vital player actually for Orlando Pirates at this, uh, at this time. But then uh, that's a free kick long away from uh, the goalpost of Orlando Pirates. Yeah, free kick taken by. Julino. I mean, very disappointing. Trying to locate one of his uh, teammates there, but uh, finding none. Yeah, no, definitely. It has been there. First 15 minutes, 12 minutes so far. Uh, really nothing to do when they go into the final third of Orlando Paris, the most important section in actually for you to get a goal. But here they win the ball back. Uh, that's brilliant play there. Oh, great, in, great interception from uh, from Patience. There we are. Julino trying to twist and turn there. Very, very interesting game here. As uh, Conrad, uh, Conrad uh, rightly said, uh, Julino will try to, I mean, Orlando Pirates will try to drag uh, Julino into the relegation battle but then uh, i mean uh, it is clearly so that orlando pirates are actually leading now yeah no uh, as things stand it's 20 20 points at least uh, it will go down to the goal difference uh, at the moment uh, actually who will be on top of the other but today is a must win for Orlando Pirates I mean after this game we are looking at uh, seven games left so uh, they really really need to start taking points um, if, if they are to survive the season if they are really uh, to survive the season but I mean in terms of uh, you know especially looking at the relegation zone or the relegation battle I mean is seven games uh, really that much Every game is a cup final. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As we have this free kick here from uh, uh, Mateus Katea, he really, really has a sweet left foot. Uh, let's see what happens here. Another free kick here for Julino. A beautiful swinger there. A header! <laughs> oh! Oh, How did that uh, one just go in? The young boy Nico Usep from Golden Bees, all the way from Ocho. Brilliant save! <laughs> Can you believe that, man? That, 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 uh, let's talk about the delivery for a moment. That was uh, really, really well delivered. And he's Top going, class. Yeah, and he's, he's at the corner again. Um, Matthews really, really has a brilliant left foot. Oh, we have a man down. We have a man down at the box at the moment. Wow. I mean, looking at the cross again, top, top notch. Yeah, brilliant. And unfortunate, the finish there just lacked. And then credit goes to the goalkeeper as well. Another corner here for Julino Sporting. Goal scoring opportunity here. Another corner there. Very disappointing one. I mean, you are trailing by one goal to zero and you still waste such a goal scoring opportunity. I mean, a corner is like a penalty, my brother. Yeah, no, definitely. I think he he, he could have done better, but um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Next, oh. let's see the next set piece. Oh, that's that's the yeah. that's the the free kick right there. Mm -hmm. Oof, that was very really what a brilliant save by the goalkeeper. Yo. Brilliant, brilliant save by the I goalkeeper. I mean, the connection of the header there as well was perfect. There was a big chance for Julinho to get back in the game, but they're on the attack again. There they are, another opportunity, yeah. uh, unlucky. <laughs> pirates, pirates. Unlucky, really, or rather didn't connect well with that uh, cross there. Yeah, I mean, Ju the player there from uh, Julino. Julino is starting to put pressure on Pirates now. I see pressure is, uh, Pirates is losing uh, shape in defense. Mm -hmm. 
they really, really need uh, Coach James need to sort that out. Uh, as, as, as Matthews goes and whips in another corner, let's hope he gives a better delivery this time. Another corner here for Julino Sporting. 16 minutes into the first half. Uh, cleared there by the defense of Orlando Pirates. Immediately pick up by the goal scorer there. This Fidel is Juan Josep. But then uh, a foul committed. Says uh, the referee, Vistoria Shangula. Long one. Uh, Beautiful controls there. As you can see here, it's uh, actually cloudy, Conrad. Uh, perfect conditions uh, for, you know, playing football. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's a beautiful weather in the capital. Uh, we might, <laughs> it looks as if we are going to have a drop or two uh -huh. <laughs> of rain. Uh, but brilliant, brilliant weather uh, this lovely afternoon here at the Independence Stadium. One can just imagine if we had the sun out now, <laughs> would have been uh, extra hot. But then luckily here the clouds have uh, covered. Not 100%, but uh, yes, there is no sun for now. Another cross there for a lot of pirates. Oof, under pressure, that is. Uh, you know, that clearance just tells you that uh, I am under pressure. There is nowhere that I can tend to. So the best thing is to just kick it out anywhere, and it will do. Yeah, a bit of miscommunication there between the goalkeeper and the centre-back. Uh, but uh, luckily they cleared it away. And that's the pressure that, uh, that is, uh, that is uh, what Orlando Pirates is actually applying to the defence of uh, Julino. Another cross there. The goalkeeper managed uh, to touch that one. Orlando Pirates uh, threatening. Uh, that should be a foul. That's a foul. That's a foul. I'm not so sure if that is a style with the player having a bandage on the head. I know, I think he got a knock in yesterday's game. Oh, yes, <laughs> possibly. Oh, what a waste of position. Let's hope he gets onto that, okay. Zulino trying to build up from the back again. They launch a long one, cleared away from Orlando Pirates. Look at that one, too. Brilliant stuff from Orlando Pirates. Orlando Pirates, uh, James Bretz. As you can see, James Brett's there really talking hard uh, to his players to really improve uh, on what uh, they are giving him now. Yeah. Clearly not happy, though he's leading, or his team is leading. Oof. Another scary one there for Zulino supporters. <laughs> I know. Long one, uh, I mean, omitting the midfielders always trying to connect with the forwards in the front. It's not really working. Yeah, they are trying to play the long ball at the moment. Orlando Pirates really, really uh, winning the ball a very, very fast back. So they are trying to launch and catch them on the counter. There is the goalkeeper that made that uh, brilliant save. Nico Uisep. Uh, Uisep. As you can see there, brilliant tackle. The referee says no. It's actually a foul. Number two, they're playing it from uh, behind. Another waste of a pass. And it goes out to be a throw in for Julino Sporting this time around. The team based in Rundu in the Kavango East region. The team actually earned a promotion to the 2014-2015 Namibia Premier League after winning the 2013-2014 North East First Division title. Yes, we have another throw in for Orlando Pirates today. Um, I'm seeing Redick Karishep, the former Chula Chula man, is playing in the midfield today. Yes. Former right back of Eshoke Chula Chula that just drew against Ongos. Yes. As Pirates go on the attack again. Oof, what a brilliant take. Brilliant dummy oh, there. Unlucky. But then uh, unlucky says uh, Conrad here. And the referee has got no problem with that uh, tackle as well. But then uh, trying to, to, to push forward here. That is uh, Julino Sporting. Easily giving it away. 
and uh, the goalkeeper is also so very happy to collect that one. I mean, uh, Radi Garizep, uh, former player of uh, Eshoke Chula Chula. He is uh, key in terms of uh, leadership. That is uh, what I heard from uh, James Bratz. He is the guy that is sexually, you know, organizing there in the middle in terms of communication. Stringing some passes, holding the ball and so on, as you can see him on the ball now. Redik Garizep. Another opportunity here for Orlando Paris. Oh! <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> Julinho's uh, uh, left and right wing backs are really, really leaving the flanks open. And I think Orlando Pirates is trying to play in those pockets at the moment. So you can see the, another long one for Orlando Pirates. That is uh, somehow promising from uh, Julinho. Another opportunity there to put a pass a through. Chance. What does the referee say? Uh, he says, no, nothing has happened to you. Just get up and keep on playing. I've seen nothing actually on that. I mean, uh, perfect defense from uh, Orlando Pirates. Yeah, I think it was just a coming together there. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant play. Again, brilliant we, see, pass as well, we yeah. see the flanks of Julinho really, really being exposed. Oof, unlucky. The, uh, Julinho needs to sort out the, 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 the left and the right hand flanks. They are really being exposed. Orlando Pirates just trying to play in those spaces. The moment Julinho tries and transition, they leave those spaces open and that's where they, they are being punished at the moment. We are talking about Gustav Kaeka and uh, Gerson Paulus, the culprits that are being mentioned here. Bishita Kayak as well has been uh, very quiet. If you can remember him, uh, Bishita Kayak was uh, oh, his other name from home is actually Kwedibasen, but now uh, preferred to be called Bishita Kayak. I think uh, Orlando Pirates centre backs still on holiday. Besides that big chance from the set piece that Julinho had, nothing really else. Uh, Orlando Pirates comfortable in the match so far, 24 minutes on the clock. Mm -hmm. 24 minutes played. Orlando Pirates 1, Julinho Sporting 0. Another long one there, easily dealt with by the defence of Orlando Pirates. Position easily given away. I think they should just be more composed. No, you can Orlando see that the assistant uh, referee of uh, Julina Sporting, William Shilufia. He is the one uh, for now tasked to give some instructions. And uh, he's really lashing out at uh, players here. Uh, Isa, to up their game. Isakiel is starting to grow into the game, uh, the number 11 of Orlando Pirates. Mm -hmm. he's, he's having more touches. Look at that left kick there, the left cross. Brilliant. Very clever left foot here. Yeah, no, he's. He, <laughs> uh, Mat uh, Mateus Katea really has an educated left foot. As we see there, the captain of Orlando Pirates just having getting a knock there, Johannes uh, Shafifure. Johannes uh, Shivapure. Oof, that was. Look at that uh, brilliant cross there. Very yeah. educated left foot there by the young men. Another foul committed there by by the number 14 of uh, Julina Sporting. That is uh, Sean Oduro. And there we have uh, Radik Garizep, former Chula Chula player, the one that will take that free kick. Little chip in, uh, headed away there by uh, the defense. Little twist and turn. <laughs> Show me your number. Another one! Oh! 
Is that side netting? It's against the side netting. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was very, really close. That was close! And I think the goalkeeper had no chance. At, uh, I, I mean, he didn't expect that one to really come his way. Yeah, that was a clever snapshot again from the goal sco uh, scorer, uh, Igilio uh, uh Just catching both the defense and the goalkeeper off guard there with that snapshot. Another corner here for Orlando Pirates. It is a goal scoring opportunity. The goalkeeper punches, but not out of danger yet. Another cross here, but then disappointing. Still and, uh, to they catch push Orlando forward. Pirates on the counter. Great take there from the captain. Great take indeed. Johnny Orner taking care of that one. Let's look at that replay there. Oof, look at that snapshot. Really unexpected, but we see a big deflection there. Oh, yes. I think he was actually trying to cross the ball, and the deflection almost, almost had an own goal there. Mm -hmm. Really, really, really lucky for Julinho. And that's the boy that is causing uh, troubles now. Fidel is Juan uh, Josep. Another foul here for Gilino Sporting. The number eight. Yuma Kashitu. You see Julinho pushing numbers in the box here. Oh, yes. We are expecting a. Uh, 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 a big attack. A big attack. A good delivery is expected here. A good delivery. Will it come in? So far, they have been disappointing. And uh, how about this one? Disappointing as well. Two players of Orlando Pirates actually going for that one. None of uh, the Julino Sporting That's players. Offside. That's an offside. Yeah, so far, uh, both teams are still trying. Orlando Pirates needs that second goal. Julinho trying to get that first goal. Um, we are approaching 30 minutes on the clock now. As Julinho attempts an to launch another long ball in the box, Orlando Pirates wins it. Julinho wins the ball again in midfield. The ball is a bit too much in the air now. They put it down. Julinho in possession. What's the referee going to say another, there? It's going to be a throw-in. Another throw-in there. You can see James Bratz clapping hands for his players there. James Bratz is bottom of uh, your screen there. Another cross in there, but then uh, well taken care of by Garisep. Another throw in here. Look at that. Yes, he's screaming, eh? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a, like I said, it's a must win game. You can it's a see must that win game, yes. The coach is giving his everything there to his players as well. So. And, uh, so you can see the goal kick for the Rundu based team. Both teams comfortable with the ball. They are, you can, you can, they are all trying to start with the back. Oh, the unlucky attack there. Um, Julinho needs to get the forward uh, forwards in the game. Um, uh, Penzi mm -hmm. didn't really have a sniff at goal. He's really, really, he's a really, really good sco goal scorer. I think if they can get him a, a decent goal scoring opportunity, yeah. I think he can get them back into this game. As Orlando Pirates try and uh, transition again, they win the ball. Orlando Pirates there on the attack. Uh, Orlando Pirates another cross in there. However, dealt well by the defense, indeed under pressure as well. Is the young boy trying to take on uh, the big boys there? Julina Sporting trying to push it up, creating another attack. Trying to take on that player there, but uh, well taken care of. Another cross in there. Can they get something out of that one? Still a dangerous uh, position here. Will that cross come in? Look Oof. at that reckless uh, kick. 
Uh, Total it's, waste. It's, it's, it's unlucky. I think the pitch is also a bit bumpy. Mm -hmm. um, unlucky there from the young boy. Um, yeah, Julinho, like I said, they need to be a little bit more patient when they reach the final third. Um, Orlando. As you can see there, um, uh, the bench of Julinho. And uh, uh, Nelson Luis drinking a lot of water there. He is very thirsty, eh? Yeah. <laughs> another go, another throw in another for, throw in. for Lando Pirates. And I mean, uh, maybe one should perhaps give credit to Redi Garizep. I mean, in that midfield, uh, he has been holding and controlling that midfield there. Yeah, no, he's doing really well. Very, very experienced player. He's, he's, he's controlling everything in the midfield. As we see, Orlando Pirates once again trying mm -hmm. to overload this left-hand side of Julinho. Another throw in there by uh, Orlando Pirates. Hago Guridap. But then uh, the goalkeeper playing it there to his defense uh, just to come out of there. Julinho Sporting really struggling a bit to come forward and uh, really causing trouble for the i mean uh, causing trouble for the defense of orlando pirates so really they will have to come back i mean as uh, 33 minutes is played into the first half orlando pirates one goal zero juliano sporting james brutz trending on the line here today yeah, Orlando Pirates need a, need a second goal to kill this game off. As you, it still looks 50-50 at the moment. The ball is a bit wobbling around for both sides. Uh, Julinho still still waiting for that proper decent chance as they get another throw in there. Another throw in for Julinho. I guess uh, it's going to be a long throw, this one. Rather not. can be an opportunity for a cross here and it's a cross the goalkeeper very easy to deal with that one very happy to deal with that one no troubles at all for the young man there Nico Usep quite happy to play it there with his uh, number four Johnny Ordner losing it out there all on the Pirates great interception from the Julinho player there mm -hmm. You can see trying to string some passes there in the middle of the field. Another opportunity for a cross. Will he manage to keep it in? Yes. He kept it in. And uh, what are they going to do here? Try to cross it, but then. <laughs> I mean, that is uh, as if uh, he's not so sure as to what to do with the ball, that then rather than just kicking it. I mean. Against uh, the opponent, yeah, no, uh, I think uh, it, it attempted to make the cross very late there. Normally, in that situation, you'd expect a player to cross it a bit earlier. He was just a bit late, and great block from the Orlando Pirates captain. Another long throw in there. The goalkeeper comes out, <laughs> nearly fumbles, but then really getting to that one. I think, and uh, the, the, the thing is also that uh, um, Conrad. For Zulino Sporting, the long throws are actually working for them. The shorter ones are not really working, uh, you know, so well for them. So one would just wonder as to why can't they just take that approach to say, let's throw in those long throw-ins. Yeah, no, I see. I, I think they saw that the Orlando Pirates goalkeeper um, is a bit uncomfortable with, with the aerial balls as well. I think they'll try and use the long ball or the long throw and just have their tall legs in there, hopefully to get the end of one. As Orlando Pirates get another free kick here in the half of Julinho. Another free kick there. Taken, well taken. Uh, the defense, uh, another opportunity on the Pirates. Uh, the goalkeeper managed to save that one. And uh, conceding a corner on the way. And there is a player there, man down. That's the goalkeeper. Yeah, I think Michael 
da Lukaku. As that ball came in, the, the Juligno defense was caught napping. No two Orlando Pirates players open. Nobody picking anyone up. As you can see, the time he woke up, it was already too late. And a brilliant save by the goalkeeper. And that resulted into a corner for Orlando Pirates. Let's see what will they do. And I can see just here while it's not on your screen, I can see some two players of Juligno uh, warming up. There she is, uh, the referee, Vistoria. Have done quite well so far in this game. No major talking points regarding uh, the referee this time around. Trying to reprimand some players there as they are pushing and pulling each other. Still talking to them. We're expecting a superb delivery here from the goal scorer, Hojasev. He has an educated left foot. We saw from that brilliant goal that he just got. That's a corner for... Brilliant! Unlucky. Really, how did that one really come here? <laughs> Julino has not... Uh, after trailing.